This is a 2023 Tradesman. It has the Power Wagon package, but any Tradesman will be exactly the same as far as the rear seat is involved. So I just want to go over a quick video here of where I added a load floor into the Tradesman, which unfortunately is not an option on the Tradesman any longer. I think it was years ago. Um, what I did is I went on eBay and uh, found somebody selling one relatively cheap actually i was surprised since they're about 500 dollars or so if not more to get it from the dealer i think i paid about 200 bucks for the whole setup and that included like free shipping but the tradesman has a full bench seat not to 60 40 so even if you put the load floor in um you're not you're gonna have to you know, lose the entire seat in the back, not like the 6040s where you can you can do the load floor on one side and have somebody sit on the other. But it's really a really simple install. So here's the uh, the black. You can get black or brown depending on the color of your interior. I got black to match my tradesman interior, but it's very simple to install. So this bolt here uh, goes into a threaded insert that's already in the floor on the tradesman so this was covered with tape and painted body color um, i just took the tape off went to the hardware store got the bolt i forget what it was 18 millimeter 12 millimeter i don't know something like that it's the exact same size as the factory bolt that was holding on uh the the, the seat rail here so that goes on that side this side here just bolts you just unbolt this and it goes on the seat rail like I said, that is there under the tape. Now, what is missing, unfortunately, uh, is the other bolt in the back here. So there's gonna be absolutely nothing here. It's just gonna be a smooth floor on the trade bin. And then back here, I believe from the factory, it must've had some sort of threaded pin that went on here maybe. I haven't really seen one to figure it out. But right here, there was also nothing here. There was a hole in the seat rail or the seat mount that you could see the floor through. So what I ended up doing is, this one's pretty simple because if you drill a hole through the floor here, which is what I did, um, it just goes right to underneath the truck. So this one here, I drilled a hole and put a bolt on the bottom underneath the truck. So that's how that one's mounted. This one here is kind of blind, you cannot, see this entire area from underneath the truck i think the exhaust is there you know whatever else is under there you definitely cannot see under the truck here so what i did is i happened to have put these rails on my tradesman and it didn't come with the uh the uh, threaded inserts uh for the mounting bolts so i had to buy the insert kit from mopar which actually came with a uh nut cert installer because you got to put all nut certs in here so it was an eight millimeter nut cert so i'm like oh i'll just buy some extra nut certs and put a nut cert here and that's exactly what i did i just drilled two holes here what two eight millimeter nut certs put them in here and i used the tool that came with the mopar kit installed the nut certs and then i was able to attach the two bolts here so once you have all that in place the other side's installed exactly the same once you have all that in place, you now have a tradesman with a load floor. And obviously, you know, once you install it, it, it works exactly like, you know, any other load floor and any other, any other level. But that's it. It's, uh, I don't know, once you have all the, the parts and pieces in place, it's probably like you know not even a one hour project to to get it in place all right enjoy